throughout the long, difficult period of Watergate, I have felt it was my duty to persevere, to make every possible effort to complete the term of office to which you elected. In the past few days, however, it has become evident to me that I no longer have a strong enough political base in the Congress to justify continuing that effort. As long as there was such a base, I felt strongly that it was necessary to see the constitutional process through to its conclusion, that to do otherwise would be unfaithful to the spirit of that deliberately difficult process, and a dangerously destabilizing precedent for the future. But with the disappearance of that base, I now believe that the constitutional purpose has been served, and there is no longer a need for the process to be prolonged. I would have preferred to carry through to the finish whatever the personal agony it would have involved. And my family unanimously urged me to do so. In the name of Christ, help yourselves. Now is our chance, now. If we join, we can win. If we win, well then we'll have what none of us have ever had before. But the interests of the nation must always come before any personal considerations. From the discussions I have had with congressional and other leaders, I have concluded that because of the Watergate matter, I might not have the support of the Congress that I would consider necessary to back the very difficult decisions and carry out the duties of this office in the way the interests of the nation will require. I have never been a quitter. I have never been a quitter. Johnny, is this true? Because if it is, I don't know how to react.